don't be a new logic if you use this simple second test. Well, in fact, there are always people who can't have the orientation right now. The word B is a non action verb, it's a state verb. So this word will not be used in the present progressive ending. Okay. So this one follows the rule. Good. All right. That's a question about um, creating. All right. So I'll. Since you've been using these tools for a long time, so I want your advice on that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what uh, I have also, I'm just beginning to use articulate. Um, that is to use, I mean, I'm pretty good at using PowerPoint and recording my voice using Audacity and a few other pieces of software like GarageBand and putting it all together. And articulate can create the narration and so forth. So I'll, I'll take you to one of my first pieces. Um, that is an orientation of an overview, a course overview. Okay, so this item here is a lecture that I created in PowerPoint Audacity, GarageBand, and Articulate. It's not delivered at CCC confirmed, <coughs> but I posted it onto our website at Mission College. Let's see if I can get this. I should do it like this, right? Wait, how does this work? Hyperlink. No. Control. Control. I thought I'm supposed to be able to open this up here. Okay, so let's try that. It what it does is it creates like a splash animation that's that um presses your piece small enough so it's easy to access on the web. <laughs> Welcome to ESL 970G, Advanced Grammar Review and Editing. I'm Marsha Chan of Mission College in Santa Clara, California. Today, I'd like to give you an overview of my online course. <coughs> Here's a little background about me. I've been interested and you can, as a user, a skip the to the parts the books for this class, of the analysis. lesson. And because you know, we'll use a textbook for this course, and you'll do the access. Mission College makes reasonable counseling is available and online orient. Coming up next, an introduction to the ESL 970G virtual classroom at Angel. So this kind of a presentation is one that goes on the web. Then you can link to it in your Angel course. All right. So when I put it in, I um, you uh, right in my in your Angel course, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about organizing your material. And when you first start out about it, it you, you know, it's not like you throw things up there and it's all willy-nilly. I've been teaching online uh, since 1996 or seven or something. So, I, I mean, it, it, I didn't do this overnight. And so take baby steps when you try it out. Um, also, the people who don't come to your orientation don't understand Angel yet, right? They, they're clueless. So then what, the good thing about this is I don't park it in Angel, I put it on the web server at Mission College because then I go like, oh, you just added this course, here's a link that you should go to and it'll go to the Whitman and it'll introduce them to the overview of the course. I'm building <laughs> another one that introduces them to my virtual classroom at Angel because, you know, you create your colors as purple and green and I'm doing my orange, whatever. I'm introducing you to my house, so I have another one coming up. That's why you have the ending like that. And Kathy, I'll add on what Marsha is saying. That's a key point. The, like the library's got a virtual library tour. It's just on the library website. If you've got a web page in Salsa or you have a department web page with a link to your, your own personal web page, you can put something like this from Articulate. And it doesn't have to be as fancy as Marsha's with his garage band music and all of that. <laughs> like, that's really neat and funny, but you don't have to do it. But you can put the link just on the department web page or your salsa web page, and it'll it'll send students to that. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah. So any place that you, any place that you have a web s that you. Services too. Mm -hmm. And also sure. the reason that I moved away from angel learning is that whenever you put your uh, course content, students cannot access it unless you're a teacher enrolled. And I uh, every semester I have problems. 
some students who actually take the time, the paperwork, and to add, they can have access. But I wanted them to access the course and start, you know, learning. And then paperwork comes later. So where do you so, put it? On, um, your, on your salsa website? Yeah, salsa website. 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 Okay, so now we are connected. And sorry for the delay. Getting all past. So what I do is I just post it on my homepage. I have a syllabus there on my homepage. And I can respond through email and just say, go to this email address. Or, even more simply, I've got it sitting on my desktop. And I just send it back as an attachment. So right, so you, can, you have a lot of So you can send too. back your syllabus. You can send back uh, a little outline of your orientation with how to log on, just the steps. Because a lot of my students are sort of really first timers and uh, so I just try to keep it for myself really simple too because I'm not as advanced as she is, but also for students so I just respond either by saying go to my home page or here's my email back and here's the attachment and it's all the syllabus and everything is laid out so you can keep it really simple because it's man it's really easy to get overwhelmed mm -hmm. with all this stuff I mean it's really easy so you can keep it pretty simple and accomplish a lot of the same stuff and then evolve to a higher level <laughs> of awareness <laughs> as we have here. So, so you can do that too. Yeah, um, because this course is going to be, it's, it's going to be game design. Game so design. Yeah, okay. so it's so really going to be a, a lot of, uh, probably um, megabyte heavy. It could, well, it could get out of control in no time. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. well, the, the, the real issue is that an uh, important aspect is going to be that um, I've, I've got the interest of some industry professionals. And they would want to see student work, and it would be incredible to have this that interaction between the students and some people in the industry. So uh, that's that's almost got to be face to face a couple of times during the term. And what what kind of problems am I looking at? With something like that. Uh, I don't know. It seems like if you have if you have if you have, if you have in your field, is, are you graphic designing? Uh, animation. Animation. Digital okay. Art. Yeah. So. I mean, you could have your class, I mean, I can digitalize it, you're having your class online, and you have a lot of models. Now, there's some things that you can do by posting your stuff within Angel, on, on the Angel server, but there are a lot of other things that you post somewhere else. Where I've got a lot of videos and audios and all sorts of multimedia things that are, I, I put on the missioncollege.org, okay. right? And then I link to it, okay? And then I can update it anytime I want, and if I want to give it to you and you're outside, like industry professionals, they're outside. They can get the link to the Mission College. They don't have to go inside Angel. And there's other stuff that I park in there for Angel only. For example, if I'm doing a listening speaking class and I'm getting people's speeches, I don't want everyone in the world, I mean, they don't want everyone in the world to access it. So I, 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 I deposit those in my course. And only if you're in the course can you listen to everybody else's speeches and then do the evaluations. So for your industry people, I would have a lot of stuff on your uh, Mission College website. And then you'd, you'd link to it with, um, within Angel for your students. Okay. And then for the face to face stuff, I mean, just you whatever. Have a just, yeah, yeah, you just have a little live, you know, like that, meeting. Record yeah. that meeting and put it online? You can do that. Okay, right. well, that would, that would be really helpful. Okay. Just like stick up the little camera right here, like that, and right. you can do that. Okay, cool. 